Hey guys, Alex here, and we're playing Folklore. Super awesome game. And let's move on ahead. We're gonna start with Ellen. Or we're gonna continue with Ellen. Uh, the woman Ellen had found in the land of the dead was not her mother. Thus begins Ellen's adventure in the netherworld. Alright, let's do this. So it's chapter one. I believe we've done the prologue with both characters. Familiar warmth. Who was that person waiting at the cliff? And what happened in my past? Maybe I'll find my past in this village. Exit. Oh, it's day! It's during the day. There's sunlight outside. Huh? We met on the cliff. I'm Keats. I work for a magazine. I'm Alan. That woman was not your mother after all. Fortunate news, despite misfortunate circumstances. Did you know that woman? She phoned me for help, but I don't know why. A letter asked me here. Perhaps it was her. That woman's daughter might know the truth. She lives nearby. Her name is Suzette. Thank you. I will pay a visit. This is all so dizzying. It's likely that the woman was murdered. This is a small, close-knit village. Outsiders will be the prime suspects. You mean us? You are the only other person on the cliff. Whatever do you mean? Nothing. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. I only wanted to know about my past. Let's hope your past doesn't reveal anything unseemly. Suzette? The daughter of that woman who died at the cliff. She's in this village. What can she be like? I'd like to ask her some questions. I don't like this map. <laughs> Where am I on this map? Oh well. Ah, uh, familiar warmth. The daughter of the woman who died on the cliff lives near my dwelling. I should pay Suzette a visit. Let's have a look at this again. Yeah, I'm not sure I get it yet. Should I visit the whole place first? Okay, I'm gonna go down here. I'll have a look around the whole place. I think I'm supposed to find the memento? I'm just thinking about my <laughs> my bad voice acting skills. I have problems making uh, those two those voices. I really like my voice when I do the uh, scarecrow, though. You guys can tell me what you think. I really like how I do the scarecrow, but uh, the other voices, not so much. <laughs> but it's still fun. Down here is the beach. Okay, 
So a fence, the cliff, the beach is right next to my house. It's strange that she doesn't live in a hotel or something. Yeah, and I kind of started playing the game and not really thinking about doing the voices. I didn't know actually that they would be uh, only reading in this game. But uh, after starting, I was just like, ah, oh, let's just go ahead and throw yourself at it and whatever. It's just gonna be fun. Nothing here, you guys. I guess I should be heading to Suzette's house. Okay, let me have a look at the map again. Alright, so I guess the left side is the cliff and the beach. And there's three ways left. Right, I don't know what that is at the bottom. And straight forward. On top there seems to be like a tower. Oh, is there someone here? Oh no, a new voice. How am I gonna make his voice? I'm O'Connell, a scholar. I'm here for research purposes. Modern man looks down on the wisdom of the ancients. We think the ancient structures are meaningless, but we're wrong. The hens in this village had a very specific purpose. It was for traveling to the netherworld, or for simply communicating with the dead. <laughs> he seems more like Italian, but... <laughs> oh, where am I going now? Ah. Where am I? Why am I looking at this map? It doesn't bring any purpose to me. Whoa, is that the same place I was with Scarecrow? I think so. Oh, what is that? Use item? What item? Nothing will happen until it gets dark. I wonder if there's like many endings to this game, depending on my actions. So this is my house. This down here. Okay, down here. I guess the bottom part must be where the uh, stones are. Harriet's home. Oh, we can go inside. Okay. Let's talk. Is this Harriet? A woman died on the cliff. I'm sorry to hear that. I never saw anyone like that in the village. But if she specifically mentioned the cliff of seed, she knows this village well. The people of long ago used to believe that cliff was a gateway to the afterworld. Oops. This village is frightening at night. You begin to see things that aren't really there. That's why no one ever goes out at night here. Oh, they, they see many things. Okay. Okay. Now she's repeating the same thing again. Guess that's Harriet. I guess I'm gonna have to learn all about the characters in this game. Harriet near the telephone. Very close to my house. Oh, Suzette's home! Okay, let's go.
lots of visitors today. Kids told me about you. You saw my mom fall from the cliff? Yes. I'm so sorry. When I got there, it was far too late. It's no surprise. How can you say such a thing? She didn't have her head on straight. I follow her here. She had it coming to see what she was going to do. Why did you ask you here? Why did she ask you here? I want to know that. Did your mother mention anything about me? Not to me. Seventeen years ago, I was five years old. But I remember nothing from that time. Your mother is the only clue that I have. Do you have a family? A father? Father? Don't ask about family! Suzette? My mother. There were days when she was totally convinced I was my dead older brother. She'd call me by this name and forbid me from going outside, saying I'd get killed. Sometimes. I'd be trapped in the house for months. Other days, she'd realize I wasn't him. And she'd start saying, I killed him. And beat him. And beat me. <laughs> I need to read correctly. What? What made her that way? I'm Sanhan, 17 years ago. My father fell over that cliff and died. That same day, my mother suddenly disappeared from the village. What do you think? Think? I imagine she must have been in shock. To leave like that? Without even having a funeral? Well, that's sweet. But most people would think she pushed him over the cliff, then ran away. Some villagers said they heard yelling and screaming coming from this house too. Why would she kill him? My guess is because maybe he was abusing my brother. That fits, don't you think? It's all just speculation, and now that my mother's gone, only the dead know the answers. How can you imagine that of your own parents? You would too, if you'd had a mother like mine. Now I'm curious too, what connection could you have had to my family? Incidentally, do you have a memento of your father? <laughs> Detective, hey? You might not believe it, but I need it to meet the dead. What are you? One of those mediums or something? Anyway, why don't you take this key? They said my father was holding it when he died. Acquired Memento Key! Thank you, Suzette. I'm snooping through your home. What? This little statue here, a little Barbie doll. My father died on the shaman 17 years ago, and my mother left the village that same day. Oh, she can say something else? Uh, 
I guess not. Okay, so I have a key. While offering this key at the hand should allow me to meet Suze's father in the netherworld. What? They don't allow me to do anything else? I'm going to bed for a rest till nightfall. You know what? I want to go and, village, go and visit the village first. I'm gonna head back here afterwards. Maybe it's a waste of time though. But oh well. Okay, so I guess the road that leads into right up here. Let's go talk to this woman. I'm afraid I don't know anything, I'm sorry. Me, my husband, the doctor, you may know, and I used to run a clinic here in the village. I'm sure someone's there, but they won't answer. Oh, can I talk to her again? My husband and I used to run the clinic in this village. Okay. Uh, what about this house? The bridge house. Oh, there's a cat. Oh, I have a feeling I'm gonna be able to talk at the cat at some point. I can go back to the pub. Maybe I'll have like secret missions to accomplish. What? Oh, it's humans during the day! I didn't realize that. <laughs> Which was kind of obvious. Can I go behind the bar? I guess not. Have a conversation, pub master. Pub is closed now. During the day and night. Did you come here to speak to the dead too? Take my advice. Just go home. If you have an attachment to the dead, get over it on your own. But if you're serious, when you say you can speak to the dead, then I might have a favor to ask you. I don't need any favor for now. Oh, that sucks. You told me you might have favors for me. Ask favors of me. Downloaded quests. Do I need to go and get those? From the internet? Most probably I do. Oh, Connell's home. There's no one here. Okay, so I'm going up towards the tower. I wonder if the tower is the same tower that we see in the intro. Bob owner's home. But he's not home. <laughs> Strange that people leave all their doors open. Who's this little girl? My name's Charlotte. My mom and dad got divorced. Now I live with my uncle, the pub owner. I don't want you to go. Can you stay and play with me? Oh, 
Why leave a little kid on her own in the home? I guess there's no school in Doolin. I guess they usually only have like two things to say and then they repeat the the last thing they've said over and over again. Old lighthouse keep. Oh, go left first. I guess I cannot reach the lighthouse. Wonder if the murder happened there. Oh, this game is so exciting, you guys! Anyway, I find it very exciting. And what is this? Another cat here? I guess I, at some point I'll be able to talk to the cat. Maybe he'll tell me what happened. How the murder happened. Who killed my mom? <laughs> Whose house is this? Lighthouse keeper, that's what I was thinking. Seems to be locked. Been there, been there. Let's go this way. Whoa, haven't been. Yes, I've been there. Uh, ladies' house. Boom, 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 boom. Where next? Two options. Huh, okay. Is that a cave? Keats base. Can I visit Keats? Oh, I can't use his book to save. It must be cold here, Keats. I'm not sure I would stay here. You should come and live with me. Church of Orland. I guess that's the building to the right. A lot of tombstones. It's the graveyard. Oh, another cat is here. So I believe I've seen three cats so far. Okay, let's go inside the church. Seems to be locked. So I guess I'm gonna go back home and have a nap. And then it'll be night. My home should be right here. Ellen's hut.
Wrist or diary? Um, wrist. I'm exhausted. And it's night. I wonder if we should visit all of the areas again. I'm gonna go this way and if there's nothing I'm just gonna cut it out. So you guys don't have to go through this. So you guys, I had a look and there's nothing at the beach or near the cliff. Nothing important to be seen anyways. So that's locked. I guess all the doors must be locked. Oh, there's another fellow right there. Oh, there's, there's two of them. My name's Gom. No, it's not. My name's G. No, Gon. Do you know about the picture book? It contains bountiful information on the folks. <coughs> yeah, you gave her a tip. I was going to do that. <coughs> Shut your trap, Gon. He's already said that. Let me introduce you. Let me introduce the half lives to you. I'm Jimmy. Oh, that, that's Frizzy the Banshee. Gunkoner the, the barman. That little m m mouse is for daddy. And, uh, the battling duo are Gam and Gee. Ought to be good. Something is going to happen in the netherworld. Have a conversation. Once you know you're aware on the netherworld of it, I'm not asking ye for help. Well, looks like there are no quests for ye yet. Okay, that was boring. Well, I guess I'm not receiving any quests yet. Let's go down this road. <laughs> 